my partner Chris Singleton. I'm John Shambi. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here. Today's starting pitcher, Brady Singer. And Chris, he seems a lot more comfortable pitching here at home than on the road, right? Indeed, Boog. And there can be several factors, whether it's just sleeping in your own bed, being around your family, going to your favorite restaurant before you come to the ballpark. I don't know what it is for him, but the numbers are clear that he's been dominant in this place. The only frustration is you see how good he is at home. And if you're a teammate or a coach, you're looking and saying, hey, if you can be almost as good as that on the road, you're going to have a great year and we're going to win more ball games. Tommy Fan in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And now two and nothing. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. That one misses. Four, so a leadoff walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Andrew Benintendi steps up. First offering misses badly for ball one. Fan gets his lead at first with nobody out. To third might be two. Frazier oh. to second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Luis Robert now. He's done a great job making contact recently, batting over 300 oh, yeah. so far this month. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Finish him. Two outs, bases empty. And now oh. one and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Ah, Swings three. through it for the K. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. So they make short work of them there. And now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ballgame. Back here in Kansas City. And on the hill in this one, Jared Schuster. What's the scouting report on him? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but... I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss. Get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Adam Frazier at the plate and takes high there. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And a pitch. And another oh, ball. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Here's a 2-2. And he hits a ground ball right side. One gone bottom half of the first. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. 
A very athletic offensive group with speed spread throughout this offense. Yeah, and it's so important that they have patient and quality at bats because the key is to get on base. If they do that, then they can create a whole lot of havoc on the base pass, get runners around the score, and then that's going to get you some good pitches to hit as well. So a very athletic team, and we should be in for a treat in this one. It's not the standard approach that we see in today's game, but it does work for them offensively. One out, base is empty. Fastball for a strike, and it's nothing in two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. The shortstop ball. takes the ball. One down, base is empty. Bows it off, still one and two. The pitch. Up and oh. in, it's two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Ground ball right side. Sends it over to Sheets. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first two away. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Two outs, base is empty. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. That one in there across the letters. 0 oh 1. That's off no the mark, madness. and the count even one and one. Two outs. Just no, that missed. missed. That's the ball. And he chases a high fastball there. Good fastball going yeah, early until they show they can make some good contact. You keep on throwing the pitch. Goes down three. looking. Royals go down one, two, three. Scoreless after one. Second inning set to go. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Aloy Jimenez. Singer back to work. Check swing. Got? Now we'll look down to first. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. And the pitch. Just no. missed. Oh. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish, calling the balls and strikes. And the righty deals. That Put it clips up. the corner. Two one. To the right side. To first that. and quickly one away in the second. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. <laughs> Gavin Sheets getting ready to hit. That right, one what? finds the zone. It's 0-1. Hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Nice job at driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. 
And here is Sosa to the plate. Nope, First pitch, and he just misses. One ball, no strikes. Kick, San Diego's. That's a ball. Sheets over at first with one away. And a pitch. That's in there. Two and two now. pitch and the uh -oh. slider oh. just misses really good take Watch especially out. with two strikes they all pitch fights it off you'll see another eighth pitch of the at back coming up It misses. It's a strikeout. Well, Boog, that's an example of a good at bat without getting into the hit call. -up. He saw a lot of pitches right there, and that can set your team up for success later in the game. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Just oh, missed. Nice. Lopez hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2016. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Finish him. Oh, great stop. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. The White Sox leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second, and now here's the veteran DH, Salvador Perez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. As the lefty gets to work, that one a little bit high. 1-0. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitchers' arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And that's off the inside edge. Three balls and a strike. Lifted in the air, right field. Fam, has this one sized up? Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Mike Gall. Michael Massey digs in now. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Good eye oh. on that spot. One and one. And now the lefty. Foul ball there. Left hand hitter waits. Bounced out to short. Lopez. Throw to first is in time. That is good. The white dude. Hunter. Now Red it's Hunter Red Renfro. That one ripped. Fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. And he's in at second with a two-out double. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So digging in, MJ Melendez. That that's one inside. Ball. Yeah, that's ball one. One out. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. And ball. another ball. Two one. Man at second. Right. And now two and two. a pitch just oh, misses down. without one Freddie for me in the on deck circle good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat here's a high chopper Lopez whips it to first on the oh. run they get the out and that'll do it Royals leave one we'll move to the third with no score Right-hander back to work. Close, oh. but call the ball. Ball one. Sliced hard, but foul. A wide to kick the pitch. Chopped to the left side. Rolls across the diamond. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Got it. Huh? The catcher, Corey Lee. Here's Corey Lee. Right through there for a strike. Front and foul to the left side. Going to now. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. And a couple of quick outs. Now that right Tommy Pham. Here's Tommy Pham. Walk to open the ball game. In the air, out towards right center. On the move to the gap. Makes the catch, inning over. No runs, no hits, no errors. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, go, the bottom of the runs. inning. And to the, the play for Kansas City, Freddie oh, for me. And here it comes. That's no, a little down. bit low. Oh. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. And a foul ball. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. One and two. Count. Way inside. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. 
drops into the glove, and there's one down. Batting down. The center field. Kyle. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this oh guy is a big contributor. The line and the pitch. Comes up empty. That's strike two. I was always told oh, it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Next pitch is outside. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Let's Struck start. him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Now, now, now. So the batting order turns over. And next up for the Royals, Adam Frazier. Grounded out his first time. At the ball. Still tap at zero. Last of the third. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And right. that drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two down, nobody on. Swings right through that one for strike two. two ball, they can two live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Two outs. Still two and two after the foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Royals set down in order. Nothing across here this half. On to inning number four. No score. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Andrew Benintendi. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. No, that's low. Check swing didn't go. And it's one to know. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. That clips the zone. And the count one and one. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. And oh. another ball. He should get a pretty Full good count. pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Right-hander kicks deals. It's a leadoff walk. And that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Go ahead, run on base. And now it's Luis Robert. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. He's got it. And there's one down. Now back, back. The Aloy. Aloy Jimenez now grounded out his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield should be an inning ending double play. Run around the move. Right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single. 
Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. And he's already singled in this game. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boo. Benintendi at third. Jimenez at first. One gone. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. In comes the first run of the game as the White Sox take the lead. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. One down. And yeah, the batter now, Lennon Sosa. And a good eye there. Two on, one out. Outside yeah, corner, there's a strike. And Two another one. ball. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on now. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. And he walked it. Take your base, ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed oh, and oh, walked oh, the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Nicky. And down the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Golden opportunity right here. Of the zone for a strike. Going along. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Now the 0 1. Right. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Right. Huge strikeout there. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now, here is Paul DeYoung. Right. Swings through that one for strike Your one. Your ball is one strike. All loaded up, top half of inning number four. In the oh. dirt, kicks away from the catcher. One, two. But all the runners hold. Two outs. Two, two. In the dirt, blocked. Count moves to two and two as the runners hold. Two two. Swing and a drive deep right field. And that's going to get into the corner. The relay. Safe. He beat the tag. And they lead by four. His confidence now, level now. is so high. Really now, nice now. job of coming through in a big spot. It really let that ball travel on the outside part of the plate. But that's a great example that you can still drive the baseball that's away. Rip that one down the line for the double. So two down. Here's the speedy catcher, Corey Lee. 0 for 1 so far. 
There's yeah. a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs no off of him in this strike. inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. You'll one. Gets the outside corner with that one. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And that's oh. off the inside edge. One now, ball, what a Bullpen action for the Royals. Chris Stratton preparing to come on if needed. Runner at second, two down. And now That's it's even ball. up. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And on second, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And it's second. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. About to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here. Stays alive. Well, oh, having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. And up next for Chicago, Tommy Pham. He's 0 for 1. Slider for a strike. Two on, two outs. Nope. Outside oh. low. And one and one. And that one is lifted in the air. Touches down. That's a hit. The run comes in from second. It's 5 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Brady Singer is done and as he heads off we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot. Chris Stratton. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with the lefty at the plate. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Right yeah. down to shoot. Strike one. No and one. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. 
Frazier drifts towards it, makes the play, and it's out number three. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the White Sox five and the Royals nothing. And welcome back Ready to the ballpark. To the Ready to go. Bottom the four. So up now for Kansas Bobby. City. Bobby Witt Jr. Junior. As he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. Oh, that's high. The shortstop takes the ball. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Oh, he Go doesn't get head. the call. And now 2-0. Fastball for a strike. Two balls, one strike. And he deals. Just no, that missed. missed. That's a ball. Pop foul out of play off to the right. There's a swing and a drive. And no one can get there. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the fourth. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his back path to the ball, and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Stepping in, Vinny Pasquantino. Yeah. There's a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The 0-1. And that gets the Let's top go. of the zone for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Kicks and deals. Out to short. Into the outfield base hit. Around third. The throw in. He will score. It's 5-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So a man aboard. Salvador Perez will hit next. Fought off foul. Well, these Royals do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Kicks and fires. One and two. Just no, that missed. Missed. That's a ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And that Down one moves his feet. The White Sox leading by four. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the catch. Now back on the second base. Mike Gold. Matthew. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Jared Schuster out of the game. And that's an excellent job from the reliever in the starting role today. Gave him some length. Back with a new arm after this. White Sox going with a new arm. Garrett Crochet. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. He's 0 for 1.
That one oh. is upstairs. Action in the pen down there. Number 33 appears to be getting loose. Pasquantino at first, one gone. And that nope. one is oh. inside. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. At the belt and fires. Just Outside. That's missed. The ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. That, that just four. missed. Take he walked him on four pitches. Up next to the Warriors. The right two pitch. on with one out. Hunter. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Doubled his first time up. Hit in the air, center field. Robert on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The left fielder, number one, MJ. Melendez. And to the plate for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. That just that's misses, and that's ball one. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss there. Man, he really the sells the changeup with that arm action. Fly ball down the line. Lays out and makes the play. A bit of a do or die there. He lays out, makes the diving catch, and he strands a couple of runners. Here at Kauffman Stadium, we go to the top of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Luis Robert Stratton, 33 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. And the pitch. And that no, one just outside. misses a ball and no strikes. You know, these White Sox putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me oh. like they really wanted to get to the starter early, Doing get him up. out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. And the right hater deals. And no, that misses out. off the outside edge. So the Royals bring on a new arm, Alec Marsh. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. The pitch. Strike on the inside corner. That one ripped left field. That's back there. That's not coming back. He circles the bases, his 12th of the season, and they add on. It's 6-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. 
He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. This to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. So, man aboard, and next to him for the Sox, Gavin Sheets. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. When you're taking your lead over there at first, you've got to be very careful. This guy on the mound's got a good pickoff move. And he'll one. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Out towards right center, that's well struck. And that one is going to go. A two-run homer. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Hunter Harvey. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Here's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Next offering oh, upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Two and two. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. And a pitch. And that's in the dirt. Hey. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. First strikeout for him in this one. That splitter is maybe the go-to pitch when he's looking for a swing and miss like that. He throws it quite a bit, and that's a good example of the effect it can have on a hitter. This one high in the air to left center. Melendez running hard to get it. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. That triple right there just stings. The ball probably should have been caught. A bad angle, bad route to it. That's a catchable ball that turns into a triple. So one gone with a runner at third. So up next for Chicago, Paul DeYoung. Switch through that one. 0-1. Oh 0-1. And, one. Oh and, one. and a pitch. And it's fouled away. One away with a runner at third. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up now for him by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. 
Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. And a foul ball. Lopez on third with two out. And the one, next one. pitch is way outside. Finish him. In the air, left side, and it's That's just foul. Fights that one away, still one and two. Trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. It's now eight to one. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City, and here's the catcher, Freddie for me. Crochet back to work. Clearly down no, in this ball down. game, and ball. you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Inside almost got him. That count one misses. Four. Full count now. Ah, Come on and miss. Three. Struck him out. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. This guy will put any pitch in any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And next up for the Royals, Kyle Isbell. Struck out looking his first time. Fastball in for a strike. And it's 0-1. In the air, left field, down the line, and that's a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing, and a ball popped up. De Young settles underneath it, brings it in, and there are two down. Now batting, third baseman, Adam. Here's Adam Frazier. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. On the ground. Throws the first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Five innings complete. White Sox eight, and the Royals one. And we're back. Leading and now the right Fran. fielder, Tommy the Fan. Right Tommy, Tommy Fan. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Up the middle. And that one handled. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Benintendi to the plate. 
The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw to second. Tag. Out in second. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. But a quick tag before he reaches the base. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Next no, offering not. upstairs. Right through there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swing it a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. And it's uh, filled uh, up. Oh. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Count is full. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. In the air, left field. Two away down. Now, the field. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. He's already homered here in this one. Right through there for a strike. 0 oh 1. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0 2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Next oh. offering is down low. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a 1 2. Wouldn't two, chase two. that time. And That's another ball. ball. Oh, he never moved because he down. never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. So now three and two on the ground to the left. Zips it to you know. first, and they take care of Robert for the out. That's the third out. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. White Sox eight and the Royals one. Bottom of the sixth inning. Go. Now the here's Bobby Royals. Witt Jr. That's That's your stop. Stop. Bobby Witt Jr. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Ball, ball one. And yeah, that's oh. outside. Do up. And that Ball one off out. the outside edge. Here's a 3 0. And there's ball four. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. Walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Man at first. So up now for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. That clips a corner. Popped in the air. Left field. 
That one gets down for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles now, for him. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. That oh one, one finds the zone. 0-1. Oh Base hit around third. He scores. It's a two. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. There's a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Okay. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Safe at first as they can't make the play. That's three singles in a row. Short enough to swing and went right back up the middle. Hunter. Renfro. Hunter Renfro at the plate. One for two. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and one. pitch tapped at the plate but it's a foul ball ground ball could be two fires to second for one and the run scores on the double play it's always great when you can add a run but in this situation with the bases loaded Double play is kind of a rally killer. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. He's handed a run in to score. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Jonathan Cannon on a pitch here. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Runner at first with two away. Here's the catcher, Freddie Fermin. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. And maybe they've got something going here. Trying to get back into this one. And now the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. And pitch in for a strike. It's 0 1. Melendez at second for Beam. At first, two out of the inning. The 
comes a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 0 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch is outside. One, two. That one to first. He handles it himself, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. They strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple left on. We're through six full. White Sox eight, and the Royals four. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, John Schreiber. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take Number deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The left fielder. Aloy Jimenez. Come on, The pitch. Fast ball for a strike. Going one. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking the zone and attacking right, hitters shoot. regardless of the situation. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Will Smith, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Right. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. First offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And That's now the, the count is even. Good slider down and one in and can one. be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The 1-1. One, one. That one no way one. inside. Bases empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That three missed inside. One. And now three and one. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Full count. And he deals. That's to third. Frazier sends it across the first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Now back the second baseman. Lennon. Two outs, base is empty. Sosa. Now it's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. A strikeout and a walk. And it skips into there. That oh. one off the mark. Now 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. That's out to center field. Isbell gets under it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the third baseman, Adam Frazier. Adam. 
Frazier. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. Late swing, foul to the left. Oh, and two now. Upstairs. That's the ball. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, no, but it worked. He got the swing and miss. And I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Witt in the box now. No balls and a strike. Slice down the right side. Here's the 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 0 2. Started after it. Appeal to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's run up on strikes. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo One shot, ball, it's no a two strike. or three run homer. The why to kick the pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Now it'll be the cleanup hitter for the Royals, Salvador Perez. One for three. Misses that missed, just the off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. The White Sox leading by four here at the bottom of the seven. He swings and fouls one off. Strike two. So far all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. One Look for him to slow count. it down right here ahead in the count. Ball in two strikes. Out to short. Gets it to first. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. So one left for Kansas City. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Will Smith. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Here's the shortstop at the play. Nicky Lopez. Outfield playing pretty shallow. The pitch. Smith in his 11th season he features a slider a four seamer a curve and he works in a changeup fouls one off out of play back to our left the pitch ripped into right center and that should be extra bases around first and hustling for second and he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. 
so a man aboard here's the third baseman Paul DeYoung right through there for a strike oh and one And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Activity in the bullpen. Angel Serpa up and throwing. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. And we're in the top of the eighth. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Run comes in from second, and the lead is up to five. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. Out towards right center field, Isbell on the move to the alley. And it's caught for the out. Now bad at it. Right fielder, Tommy Pham. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy Pham. Top yeah. of the zone for a called strike. Next ball. pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Hey! Outside. Nope, outside. Two and two. De Young leads off first with one away. That Got one misses. Out. And now it's three and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That one down the oh, line, ball. and it goes just foul. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. At the belt and fires. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Makes a sliding stop. They get one to first, not in time. Great effort there. Man at first, Andrew Benintendi steps to the plate for the White Sox. Snap throw to He's first. Fam back in standing. Ball one nope. there. Oh. Two outs. In the air on the infield. Pasquantino moving under this one. Brings it in for the third out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's opened up now, 9-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tanner Banks. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. And to the plate for Kansas got, City, got, Michael Massey. The second, second baseman, Michael. 
As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Ball. Next pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. And yeah. that's through there for a strike. Dangerous spot for that One slider two. right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't two want to throw two. that pitch again. Next offering way off the plate. Shoots a line drive single into right center. And the leadoff man aboard. A couple of hits in a row for him here. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that a few simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. And here is Hunter Renfro. And there are two outs. If you blink, you might miss it. And that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Melendez no, in the up. box now as he leaves that one up high. Movement in the bullpen. Chris Flexen appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Left hand batter waits. Rip to short. Lopez tosses the first. That is the inning. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Angel Serpa. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. So digging in, Luis Robert. He's already homered in this game. And the pitch. In for a strike, 0-1. That to right. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Now back at the left. Aloy Jimenez. So a man aboard. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Aloy Jimenez. That's in there. That's strike one. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Here at the top of the ninth. And a pitch. That one well upstairs. And it's one and two. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Sam Long getting loose out there. Come on, Royal. Let's go. The one two. That one oh, missed. That's low. That's the ball. Come on, Casey. And Jimenez, good eye. The count is three count is and full. two. Runner at second, nobody out. Outside, and that is ball four. Hopefully he figures it out on the mound because they're running out of arms in that bullpen. So up next, Gavin Sheets. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. That's in there. And that's strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. And fires in a fastball at 95. Robert on second. Jimenez at first with no outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Out 
out there to center. Isbell settles under this one. He's there. He's got it. Round who tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Here's the second baseman, Lennon Sosa. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. On the ground, could be two. Can't glove it cleanly. Quick hit to second for one. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. Well, it's always a tough double play to try to turn right there. And the hitter knows that. He's going to hustle all the way up the first baseline to prevent it. Nice job of getting that run across. So digging in, Nicky Lopez. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. And it hits the fence. Coming home. He'll score. It's 11-4. Everything came together for him. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Your ball, one strike. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Whips it to oh. first. And that is that. They put two on the board with a couple of hits, no errors, and one left. 8 9 1 due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the White Sox 11 and the Royals 4. Back here at Kaufman Stadium. And now the catcher comes up to him. Freddy for me. The wind of the pitch. On the line, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Grounded to third. Could be two. One at second. Back to first. And that is a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play game. Turn. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Last chance for the Royals. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Adam Frazier. That one fouled off. Swing yeah. and a miss. That's strike two. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the ball. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, Boop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. Final score in this one, 11 to 4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.